What are we making? Because I, I so, saw this on the, on the show. And so here's we have some good Italian sausage. Yes. And, and for me, Italian sausage is a good ingredient. It's easy to work with and it's part of our culture. We're making carbonara. Carbonara. Now, carbonara is a poor man food. Okay. Now, when I say poor man, meaning that, you know, it doesn't feature super expensive ingredient, but that poor man is going to be a really happy one. <laughs> yeah, now, right. we're like going to have good, good sausage there, some salt and pepper. Now, the sausage will need to caramelize for a few minutes. Okay. We're going to add a little piece of butter to it to help the caramelization process. Now, once it's caramelized, and I have, and I have one ready here for, of course, for timing reason, it's going to look like this, okay. nice and caramelized. Would you help me yes, in sir. creating the sauce? Yes, sir. I need so to pay attention I to I got it. some egg yolk. Okay. I need some egg yolk mixed with half of the cheese. Okay. And a little bit of stock. Okay. Chicken stock. Chicken stock. Okay. So egg yolk, chicken stock, and some of the cheese will give the sauce the creaminess without adding heavy cream. And the know? butter is, a, I, I would have not thought to put butter in, but that helps a lot too. That helps, uh, that helps quite a bit, yes. That helps, so, butter helps anything. You know, it, it kind of does. You gotta <laughs> give it to the butter, right? Now, we need, we need some pasta here. We have some pasta ready to go. Now, what we do now, I'm, I'm a believer that you gotta take your pasta out when it's still nice and al dente. Okay. You don't wanna have overcooked pasta. Now we're gonna let these cook for, the, for a short minute. Now, don't, then, don't people use bacon normally when they're making carbonara? They use bacon, but you know, you can put whatever you want. If you like bacon, you can put bacon. I like sausage, I put sausage in it. I love it. But, but hey, let's assume that you don't like bacon and sausage and something is wrong there, then you can add some. <laughs> you can do this without meat, but why would you? Yes, I, mean, I like that. that. All right, so. What do you think the biggest differences are between kitchens in Italy and kitchens here in the U.S.? In Italy, people actually use the kitchens. <laughs> in, Italy, in Italy, people cook a lot. And, and so, and that's important because, you know, you have to, you have to, you have to get, you have to get your, uh, we always say that you have to get your hands, you gotta, ha you gotta have your hands dirty, meaning yes. you gotta cook your food if you wanna keep your body clean. I like you that. You know, the more, the more you do, the more you do, the better it is. Now, what we're See, gonna do. I can't do, do all of that. No, but this is all right. This will, will, will I, I need a spatula when I this do This will that. reduce in a short second. And that's it. And so the dish is very simple. We're going to reduce this now. And how much do you reduce it till, till all of well, the liquid is gone? You know, it's, it's, it, you know I'm, I'm old school, right? I cook with fire. And, and, and I like fire. And I like flame <laughs> under my food. But it, it's a TV studio, so you got yeah. electric. And to me, it feels almost like cooking with an iPod. Yeah. You know? <laughs> If you, you try to cook, I, I like this guy more and more every passing if minute. Try, I don't know about y'all. If you try, if you try, if you try to cook with it, now why why rigatoni? Why not another type of pasta? Well, so here's I'm gonna swipe it. This is hotter. Um, rigatoni is good. Has the ridges on it. It's a good substance. It's not like a. You know, a lot of people in the United States have problem with long pasta. They mm. need a spoon, they need a knife to cut pasta. And I want to be like, guys, what's up? <laughs> so, rigatoni, I think, is the perfect size for a bite. Yes. It's the perfect size for a bite and is hollow, so it keeps the sauce yes. in. Yes. And it has the ridges, so it, you retain the sauce. Yes, sir. Now, we're almost ready with this. Please hurry, it looks so good. <laughs> a little salt and pepper there. Now, my daughter, Georgia, who works for us, is standing right there for two reasons. She is photographing us because that's what her job is, but she's also watching because she's learning how to cook. Georgia, it doesn't get much easier than this, right? Where's Georgia? Georgia's right here. Georgia. Hi, Georgia. How are you? All right, so come take a bite up here. Come around that so, side. So, and this is Georgia. How are you? And this, it's like a, I feel like it's a family reunion. It is a family. So see how these really quick reduce and got really nice and creamy? Yes. So now here's what we're going to do. Oh my gosh. Look now we're going to get these right here. So since she, this is your daughter, you guys, please come over here. Thank Look, you. You share these. Gracias, senor. And I'm eating right off of the pan. Mm. I love it. <laughs> you have to make one promise to me yeah, that yeah. you will come back frequently yes. and teach us because we love having you here. This is absolutely incredible. 